Injury Weather with Tom Kiffin. First things first, off to our 906 Weather Watchers page. Nina Graff sent this in. She actually got a rainbow photo behind the barn here. Now, she said she didn't get any rain, but she also said she needs some rain, and she's hoping Wednesday the rain does show up, and I think a good chunk of us do see the rain showers by the time we get Tuesday night on into the daytime on Wednesday. Speaking of rain, nothing on our local three radar network here as we fire up the weather computer. You can see we're dry right now, but as I close you into western Marquette County and into Barraga County, you can see that we do have the rain showers, even the thunderstorms, the isolated thunderstorms, that is, that developed late this afternoon quickly went away after sunset. I'm going to widen out the view here. We're going to talk about what's going on in the upper part of the atmosphere here. What we got today is the jet stream going way into northern Ontario upper level ridge here, upper level ridge of high pressure here. And when you get the upper level ridge, we're still talking way up there, up in the upper part of the atmosphere. You get a stable upper atmosphere here. That's sinking air, stable air. That's why we had blue clear skies today across upper Michigan along with warm temperatures. Check these temperatures out. We had temperatures that were in the 70s and 80s. Houghton, 83 degrees. Ironwood checking in at 82, 81 for Iron Mountain. But with that southerly win. It was a little bit cooler right along Lake Michigan. 63 was today's high for Manistique. And then we had some cooler winds at times right along Lake Superior. For the first time since September 23rd to 2020, we made it at or above 80 degrees officially at the Weather Service. 81 was today's high, 48 the low. Downtown market at the U.S. Coast Guard. Before we got a lake breeze around 3 o'clock this afternoon, 80 was the high temperature and 48 was the low. So as we look at the next seven days, tomorrow it's another bright, beautiful, sunny day. Then you see a lot of rain in the forecast, but folks, this is much needed rain that is coming in here. And these rain chances start tomorrow night and continue for Wednesday and into the weekend. And the humidity is going to creep up there a little bit as well. Your extended forecast for your UP community coming up here in just a bit. So three things to know here as we go through tonight and into the rest of the week. Still going to deal with the warmer temperatures, but in come the rain and thunderstorms, and we're going to start to notice some humidity. Weather in motion here. This is on the surface, and we're looking at a stationary boundary storm system to the south of us, but watch the cloud stream to the north here as we go over the next 48 hours here. You can see those clouds coming north. Tomorrow night, here's our first chance of some rain showers and thunderstorms, and then you're just going to continue to see the clouds move in, and we're fair game for rain showers and thunderstorms here as we go into Wednesday and also for the daytime on Thursday. So for the rest of tonight, mostly clear skies, areas of fog possible, especially closer to Lake Michigan, and some gusty winds can't be ruled out, especially along Lake Superior in Berga, Marquette, and Elger counties here. Look for low temperatures tonight to range from, oh, the 40s, especially the lower 40s as you go into the interior section of the western UP to around 50 or the 50s right along the Lake Michigan shoreline. Here's your art. Lake Superior shoreline that is. Here's your UP community extended forecast. Marquette and Marquette County temperatures in the 80s for Tuesday, but as you can see, the warmer temperatures continue for Wednesday right through the daytime on Saturday, but we do have some rain and thunderstorm chances. Into the eastern UP we go. You can see temperatures as you go inland will be in the 70s. Sunshine for Tuesday afternoon for the east, but we do have rain and thunderstorm chances coming in as we go on the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. For Delta County and Escanaba, we'll see temperatures that will be around 80 as you head in land away from the lake shore and then there's your rain and thunderstorm chances coming in here as we go on the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday with warm temperatures continuing along with some humidity coming in for the interior west temperatures in the 80s for Tuesday and then 70s to around 80 Wednesday through Friday with rain and thunderstorm chances perhaps back into the 80s for Saturday and then for the Keweenaw Peninsula we'll see temperatures in the 80s especially as you head well inland for Tuesday and then rain and thunderstorm chances Wednesday through Saturday with warm and some humidity. 